So today I wanted to go over this Culligan water filter, why I bought this particular one, and how to change the actual filter cartridge. Now this is a Culligan WH-HD200C, not the most uh, memorable name, but there's a couple reasons why I bought it. Um, I like the size of this cartridge. It's for a 10 by 4.5 cartridge that looks like this. Um, another popular filter you could have bought is, I think it's made by DuPont, it's blue. It's a little bit cheaper, but I really like this one. This was $50, I think the DuPont one's 20 or 30. I like that this is clear, and as you can see, we have rust in our water, and I like to be able to see when I need to change the filter. This one looks pretty good, this one's ready to be changed. Real quickly, the filter system I set up, I did a video on it earlier, Real quickly, the water system we have set up here, we have a well and we have arsenic in our water, a small amount, but this will not get rid of the arsenic. We need a reverse osmosis filter to get rid of that. But we also have some other particles, including iron, which turns to rust, as you can see here. Um, I have a 100, a 50, a 20, and a 5 micron filter to filter that out. These two are the ice spring filters that are blow-offs. You just open the valve and they blow out right off. Now as far as these filter units themselves, they're a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be when I bought them, and they're really nice and sturdy. I thought this was going to be a thin plastic, or this was going to be kind of cheap plastic. It's pretty well built. It's nice and solid. I'm, I'm not worried about it breaking. One minor concern was where you're putting the fittings in, you're screwing the brass uh, fittings in, are plastic. It's not super uh, reliable looking, but I haven't had any issues so far but they're definitely well built. So um, today you can see this one is full of rust. This is where I have a 20 micron filter in and it's all clogged up. I'm going to change it. Uh, our um, iron in our house is really bad. This has been not quite two months and it's gotten to this point. So because of that, you don't just buy one filter. You have to buy a whole bunch to get a good deal. If you buy one of these filters, you can get them for 10, 15, 20 bucks maybe. I bought a pack of 20 and it averages out to under $7 a filter. Again, these can use any 10 inch by 4.5 inch diameter filter. There's a whole bunch. There's the the accordion style filter, there's ones that are woven wire, there's carbon filters. So the, the good thing about these is you can use them for any situation you want. You buy this one filter unit, you can put a 5 micron, a 20, a 50, you can do the carbon filter. So these can fit any insert you want to put in there. And right now you can see I have two in here. This is a, the 5 micron with a, a different housing and this is the, the 20 micron. So I'm going to change the 20 micron right now. So the way I do it with my system is, first I close the water coming in at one end and the other. So now this is closed. And now I don't have to, but I would open this. So now there's still water to the house. It's just bypassing all these filters. So now there's no water getting to any of these valves. I can open up uh, this valve to let off the pressure. But just so you know, if you don't have this unit, there's a blow off valve, a red button on the tops of these units. What I like to do is put a towel on it and push the button. And right now it just got soaked with water. So the pressure is now removed from this filter. And you can check that if you don't have this. I can open up this valve and I can see that no water is coming out. Next, you get one of your big wrenches. And it's a little bit tricky. You have to remember it's lefty-loosey, but you're looking from the top. So it's actually... So you just slide your wrench up on the filter cartridge and it's secured to the wall with this big bracket. You don't just want to have it hanging. That's right, yeah. Oh, and these can be really stuck on there with all the pressure and the filter. And also, you're going to want plenty of rags and I have a big bucket under here to catch the water because this is full of water right now. So you now unscrew it. And water will start to pour out like that. 
Also, water's pouring out because it's coming out of this whole system right now. And pull it down. And now you can see this cartridge is pretty well spent. It's brown rust all the way through. Next, pour that out. And I'm not going to clean this one because it looks pretty clean. Um, if it's really bad, sometimes rust can get on here, and I'll give this a good wipe to get all this out. But one thing you have to be pay extra attention to is this gasket up here at the top. You don't want it to, uh, I can see it's gotten a little bit um, bigger than the fitting. You want to put a lot of grease on this, and good thing is I can still see grease on it from the last time I did this. And the grease you want to use is something like this. It says food grade or non-toxic sanitary well it's been a couple hours since I just shot that last clip and that was because I was trying to get this o-ring to fit back in this groove when I took it out I noticed it was a little bowed and I tried some different things well, I tried one thing and that was to freeze it I put it in the freezer for two hours and I came back and it still doesn't fit so that's why it's always good to have a bunch of o-ring backups that also fit now I'm gonna try to get this to fit I'm gonna try to put it back up in here if it doesn't fit tightly which it doesn't right now it's kind of bowed out you can see at the top there's a big bow in it I'll use another o-ring another technique they said you could use a heat gun or try boiling it I'm not gonna go through all that trouble yet I'm gonna try to get it in there um, but first you do have to use this lubricant to because uh, that o-ring needs to be a floating o-ring. It shouldn't just be sitting in there. It needs to freely move and not get pinched when you seed it. So I like to use a lot of this uh, lubricant jelly. Put it on here so that it... Okay, so I put a, quite a bit of the, the lubricant on the o-ring. Then I take the new filter and I put it down in the cartridge there's a little uh, bump that sticks up there, it fits right in the center. And now you have to thread this back up in there and making sure that this hole lines up with the, the inlet hole on the filter. And I'm also gonna try to get this O-ring to fit in there to be pressed back into place. If it doesn't work, I'll know because it'll start leaking. Pretty tight, one little cinch with this. There we go should be all installed back. I'm going to turn the water on now. Let's turn the bypass off. Slowly turn the main line back on. We should see it fill up. Right here. Now we'll know if it leaks or not. Okay, the water is back on. I opened up the filter line and the outlet line. I don't see any leaks. I don't feel any leaks. That should be it. Another thing is if you don't have shutoffs like I have where I can shut the water off, there is, you can turn this and you can go to bypass. You can bypass this and it will not leak out. So you just turn this blue ring to bypass on here and water won't come out. Also, after you reinstall the filter, it's a good idea to push this red button to let out any air because air is trapped up here. You can see water shoots out so that gets any air out of the system but overall I'm really happy with these color gun filters they are super sturdy I haven't had an issue knocking on wood um, again they're they're a little bit plasticky the fittings plastic it takes a big fitting the big one inch fitting but overall they've held up great I can see right in when the filter is dirty I can see if I have how the rust is uh, if, the, if it's ready to be changed um, but I'm really happy with the system I have. Overall, these are much more convenient. When they're dirty, you just open it up, close it, all that stuff is washed off. But overall, these handle a lot more um, through the filter, and I haven't had an issue with flow into the house. Some people might say, oh, you add a filter, you're going to reduce your pressure, you're going to reduce your gallons per minute. I haven't had an issue. I'm using three-quarter inch pipe. The fittings are one inch coming in, so I haven't had an issue with flow through the system at all. Um, I did just a non-scientific test trying to fill up a tub or a bucket up in the upstairs. I haven't had an issue with the flow. 
So overall, I'm really happy with the, how, the, how these filters have worked so far. Um, so let me know what you think. Thanks. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.